When we found out five months ago, we were deeply devastated. It was too soon and in the middle of so many projects. And while so much was going on, you will be missed, dear Pan. You didn't deserve what happened to you. Rest in peace. The viewers of this channel deserve to know what happened. Plus, he would have wished for this channel to continue somehow. It was so sudden when he stepped on that piece of Lego. So, we revived him as a vampire, and now he can explain things for himself, <laughs> Hey, I'm back! I died just a little bit, but now I'm better. Yeah, I've been away for too long in this healing journey. I absolutely needed it, to recover from a bunch of betrayals and dead ends in life. It was so bad that I literally gave up on everything. But that's not what we want, is it? So I regained my true self and got my focus back to finish what I have promised to friends and viewers. This renewed season of videos deserve a new introduction and channel update. So sit back and watch a compilation of clips of me training to get back in shape until I make it and meet the requirements for Marsoc before any re-enlistment. While I explain how I started with this channel, what I was thinking and what direction I'm taking now. When I first started with his channel, I still had no clear direction, but the end goal was clear. To benefit humanity with my tiny contribution against global problems that insult the individual freedoms and rights, but also to raise a voice of reason in an unreasonable public corrupted by agendas that lead to a not-so-free world, a channel of some basic fame that would say the right things as a form of resistance if those who already expose things get silenced. Like a reserve for real journalism. Let's call it a special kind of prepper and continue with that. What's so special about the things I show? I wanna think that I serve a mentality of freedom. Giving free and unfiltered knowledge like giving the source code of a developer. All of my content is about thinking outside of the box. Not blindly following some kind of rules taught by others with an ego. An inventor may learn things from others, but contributes in the art and puts new advancements on the table. He or she doesn't get stuck in a dome set by some teacher. So to make a long story short, the main theme of my videos is not archery or tactical skills, but being a pioneer. If archery for example helps, then I'm all for it. That is why I don't matter. It's not about me, it's about the knowledge and how it can benefit you. That is why I don't openly say what my ancestry is, where I have been, and what I have done. Although it gets mentioned on a personal level among friends here, and of course there are obvious hints around. But it is not my focus to extract fame and glory that way. I do not use personal glory to dress up what I'm showing, nor will I. I want what I show to be fully unfiltered and have the viewer review the raw knowledge. The viewer is fully intelligent and can make what he or she wants from what is shown. My background may not be as epic as taking out Osama bin Laden or something, but I had my interesting moments. And that's the point. It doesn't matter being said, it matters being shown in practice. I absolutely hate justifying knowledge by presenting certificates of any kind. Knowledge needs to prove itself, not hypnotize the listener with convincing personalities. I'm the Pope, so whatever I don't like is a heresy. Trust me, bro, I'm the certified authority on these matters, and everything I say is the law! <laughs> well, this channel is not my only online appearance, nor the first, so I was skeptical on how to raise this one. It is better to separate other appearances with this one, because it is better to remain anonymous to a level. Hidden to a certain degree. Difficult to find, locate, identify, and all that. Not from friends made through here, but from the general public. That is why, when I first started, I came up with an international accent. I thought that it would be easier for all ears to catch what I'm saying. While I didn't reveal my personal background, thus remaining hidden. I mean that I designed my content to not be just USA based, but truly international. That is also why I use the more literal wording in old videos and not too many American slangs. I wanted to use this as a smart filter to deflect away those who are focusing on the wrong thing instead of reviewing the skills shown. Let the bad apples judge and dismiss you as fast as possible. You don't want them around, nor do you want to be part of their hierarchies. They are the first to betray you. Fewer but quality viewers is my goal. 
That is why I'm thankful to have all of you here. But all of that was too much work. So now I'm just being free and making whatever content I enjoy. I have mentioned this before, that because now I'm making subtitles for everything, I can just talk normal and make more content faster. In the meantime, while I was busy <laughs> giving up, I was actually working to gather a small budget and upgrade my equipment, tools and such. Archery is still a main focus, but it will be enriched now. If you're not living under a rock, you might have noticed the geopolitical situation of the world. It's not very positive. I take the side of the innocent part of humanity, the victims of all conflicts. That is why I plan on showing how to craft easily some things for personal defense, ballistic helmets, body armor, vests, etc. If you're in the US, you will already know that the ATF is out of their minds and now want to regulate even body armor. That's not very compatible with the constitution. The crafting tutorials will indeed be unique, as the end result will not be a generic DIY, but very professional and for real use. Aside from that, as I'm focusing back in this life and putting behind me my hurt little feelings, Aww. I plan on reviving a great variety of lost Native American fighting skills, exactly as I have been doing before, but now it's gonna be even better. <laughs> also, expect my music to decorate this channel as bonus uploads. While my little rant is done, here is a little sample of that damn online shop I abandoned six months ago. I'm trying to revive that also. So thank you for being endlessly patient with me, everyone. See ya!